Welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board certified doctor of naturopathy, Dr. Stephen Cabral, shares with you exactly how you can reverse aging, take back your health, and live a life full of energy and passion with new 20 minute episodes every single day to keep you healthy and engaged. Now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Welcome back, everybody, here today, second Cabral host call of the weekend. Thanks, as always, for joining me. If you'd like to check out today's community questions, see what people wrote in with, head on over to stephencabral.com slash 2816. While you're there, of course, please do pick up your free copy of The Rain Barrel Effect. If you haven't already, if you have, do feel free to send one to another individual. We would love to get them a copy of that. Again, I pay for the book. I just ask for you to pay for shipping. And uh, if there is any profits made, which is typically only from Amazon, 100% of all profit is donated to charity from that book. So uh, please do, again, share the word, share uh, what we're trying to get out there as to how to help people heal. All right. You're here for the questions. I'm here for the questions. Let's dive right in, see what the community is asking in terms of all their health, wellness, anti-aging based questions. Of course, I can't provide any medical based advice, medical treatment plans, medical cures, medical diagnosis, but I can give you a place to get started and to look for the underlying root causes that may be holding you back from getting well in the first place. All right. First question is from Shelly. Shelly says, hi, Dr. Brawl. I love you and your work. Thank you. Thank you, Shelly. Appreciate that. My question is about my daughter who was diagnosed with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis at the age of 13. She's been on various medications and is currently on Humira to control her symptoms. She, she has had a positive of ANA test uh, and a centromere B, AB of antibody of 1.4, which is high. Her doctor is concerned about crest, among other things. She has had myasthenia uh, gravis as serious autoimmune diseases. She tries to be gluten-free and careful with her diet, but as an 18-year-old going to college, I'm concerned. What advice might you have to get this autoimmune nightmare under control? Thank you for all you do. Shelly, happy to help. Keep in mind, I was a 17-year-old, 18-year-old, 19-year-old with an autoimmune issue as well. So I know where you're coming from. I understand. I literally wrote a book <laughs> dedicated um, to helping you know those with with serious health conditions and anybody experiencing you know wellness health based with issues. So first recommendation is just to have your daughter and you read a copy of the Rain Barrel Effect. You most likely already have. I get it. I understand that, uh, and you know appreciate it if that's what you've done already. The next step is to look at what are the underlying root causes. That's the big five. So if you have an autoimmune issue, I always recommend the big five plus the bacteria and parasite stool test. And here's why. Almost every autoimmune condition, 90 plus percent, has some type of gut-based issue involved with it. Leaky gut, aka increased intestinal permeability with either SIBO, candida overgrowth, um, H. pylori bacterial infection, or parasites. Or if you're lucky, like I did, I had all three, or I had three out of four. Okay, so we need to fix that. Like there's, your immune system's always gonna be imbalanced, until your gut is, if your gut's imbalanced, because 80% of your immune system is in and around your gut, and it's always going after those pathogens, which leads to an elevated immune response. And if you have intestinal permeability, bacteria, proteins, et cetera, seep through the gut wall, and it always heightens the immune response. Autoimmune issues can never be overcome if that's not fixed. So that's our first place. The second is we look for other toxicity. That's why 14, 21 day functional medicine detox is a great first place, right? And the reason is, is that we want to begin to remove a lot of the detox-based um, toxins in their body, like plastics, SS, excess estrogens, flame retardants, xylene, benzene, all of the 100,000 man-made chemicals in the environment, right? Everybody has some. So we want to help lighten that load, begin to empty the rain barrel. And we want to look at overall stress plus heavy metals. And so the big five will will look at those. And so that's how we, I mean, honestly, that's how we help. Like that is how people get well. I no longer have rheumatoid arthritis because uh, unfortunately I didn't have this information for years, but now it's available. And so that's why I try to pass it on to other people too. All right, so that's what I recommend. Run the big five, then do the 21 day functional medicine detox. Then by that time, you'll get your results back. After you get your results back, you'll have a personalized plan. All right, and those are all at stephencabral.com slash shop. You don't have to work with my team. You can work with anybody you want, but you'll at least find the big five and you'll know what labs to ask for. All right, Lindsay's up next. Hi, Dr. Brawl. Thank you for this podcast and all of your knowledge. I have two questions for you. I run a body fever most nights. I notice it significantly when I lay down to go to sleep and my partner says I'm literally radiating heat. I suspect my body is trying to fight off something. What do you suggest as a first step? Finding the root causes. And number two, my heart races and gets faster after meals. 
whether it be healthy or unhealthy food. Can you help? I can. I can. I'm, I'm happy to help with this. Okay. So night sweats at night. Uh, estrogen dominance, low progesterone. Higher levels of cortisol, lower levels of melatonin. Uh, potentially parasites. Potentially virus. Potentially viral load. Potentially higher toxicity load. Typically more fight or flight. Those are the main ones that come to my mind. And so now you don't have all of them. We have to narrow those down. So the two lab tests that would narrow this down are the bacteria and parasite stool test and the stress mood and metabolism test. Yeah, so those would tell you all about estrogen dominance, cortisol, et cetera, et cetera, uh, parasites, et cetera. Okay, so those two. And then number two, my heart races and gets faster after meals. Okay, two parts to this. It happens mainly for two reasons. One, there is a histamine-based reaction to certain foods that you're eating, and they're healthy foods. Cinnamon or spices will cause a histamine reaction, right? If you're someone with more prone to higher histamines or mast cell activation. So there's that. Um, yeah, that's, that's one of the big ones because it can be healthy foods, anything smoked, fermented, or aged like spices. And then the, the second is it could be that your body is in a fight or flight based mode, which might go back to the first part. And when you go to eat, you're supposed to be moving and shifting and your body knows it to parasympathetic and there's this tug of war going on in your body. Some people get it as a norepinephrine push like a, a faster heart rate, which again happens with mast cell activation syndrome or high histamines or you know, salicylate sensitivity, any, any food-based sensitivity will, will increase that heart rate because that's a, it's a basically a um, somewhat immune and somewhat HPA axis adrenal-based response. But it can be a tug of war. Now, a lot of people get exhausted. They get brain fog after a meal where their body's in fight or flight, and now it's trying to shift to parasympathetic. So I think we need to get a little bit deeper, and that's what I would do. So that's what I would look at specifically. I hope, hopefully that was helpful, at least as a place to get started. Okay. Tiffany is up next. I've listened to your podcast for 10 years. I'm grateful for your passion and knowledge of helping other people. Thank you, Tiffany. Appreciate that. I've only been doing the podcast for eight years, I think. Let's see. 2016, 2023. Yeah, about eight years. But I appreciate that. I'll be doing it for 10 years. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Um, and I'm grateful for your passion. Thank, thank you, Tiffany. I appreciate you. I'm obviously just joking around with you. Uh, an older friend of mine had to have an emergency surgery to remove a non-cancerous infected mass from her bowel, and it has been on constant antibiotic drip for two weeks. The IV was just removed, and she is home with a drainage bag still attached to the outside of her body to help get rid of the infection. When I found this out, I immediately ordered her the clean gut probiotic, Saccharomyces boulardii, and a seven-day detox. I was also able to talk to her into the big five to get the root cause. She then mentioned she has chronic myeloid leukemia. I tried to research your podcasts on this with no luck. Uh, let's see. Lab results will soon reveal, but want to get any advice on CML in your podcast. Much appreciated. All right. Happy to help with this as well. And I don't know that we've talked about uh, chronic myeloid leukemia as much, but you know, we're happy to. It is a little bit different type of leukemia is more of a blood-based cancer than a hard tumor-based cancer. There is a difference. Uh, this can be the bone marrow versus a hard tumor, like a mass that she just found in her bowels. However, when we look at um, cancers in general, we want to look at the Overall human, literally, like the diet, the exercise, the stress reduction, the toxic removal, the rest, the emotional balance, the supplements, and the success mindset. So that's, we honestly look at the whole de-stress protocol. So I, again, I keep going back to the uh, rain barrel effect, but I truly believe that people need a basis for how they're going to heal. And then I hope that it's only about two months away, but I, I want to give people a natural health cancer-based approach that is not meant to be medical advice, but what I might do if I was personally dealing with cancer myself or my family. So I hope that it's just, I want to make sure that I, 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 you know, really get it as close to perfect as perfect can be. I mean, cancer, as I always said, is the wild card because a lot of people can be doing everything right and they still get cancer, unfortunately, where that isn't the truth with cardiovascular or blood pressure or diabetes or Alzheimer's, you know, the other ones. Um, but unfortunately, uh, we're exposed to so much in our environment and stress is, stress is such a big factor as well that unfortunately um, 
it can happen. So um, you're doing the right things, of course, with the clean gut probiotic and the Saccharomyces boulardii, but the Saccharomyces boulardii is also in the clean gut, so that's good. I would get the healthy gut support as well. That's the glutamine, the zinc carnosine, the N-acetylglucosamine, the aloe vera, the marshmallow root, all the things that will help with the gut and the antibiotics. Uh, and then, of course, wait till she's healed, and then she can, of course, do a detox when she gets her doctor's permission. And yeah, that's basically how I can help you for right now but I hope to be able to do more in the future. All right, and so stay tuned. I'll, of course, do a podcast on this, of course. All right, Mandy's up next. Hi, Dr. Rawl. I've been following your work and listening to your podcast for years and has truly changed my health for the better. So I'm eternally grateful. Thank you, Mandy. I'm happy to hear that. I have a question about my parents. They're both in their mid-70s, and I want to keep them as healthy as possible. What are some essential supplements that they should be definitely be using? They're not, <clears throat> excuse me. They are not doing anything now. They all both eat pretty healthy and walk about 20,000 steps a day. Thanks so much for your advice. Well, 20,000 steps a day is amazing. I mean, that's a lot of steps. That's great. Okay. And you should see, I mean, the results results and research, I'm sure you've heard of my show, uh, that decreases all-cause mortality by quite a bit. So that's great. So everybody, uh, literally, humans, right? Humans from the age of, let's say, uh, three, four years, five years old and up should be doing the daily foundational protocol. So that's the daily nutritional support or the daily activated multi, a daily fruit and vegetable blend because almost nobody's eating more than like two to three different fruits and vegetables a day. So it gives you more variety. Uh, let's see. The omega-3, so the daily omega-3 support, the daily probiotic support, and then as you get older, the daily digestive enzymes to help you absorb more of what you eat. And then for most people, you should be taking vitamin D3, along with the balanced zinc for zinc and copper for the immune system, hair, skin, nails, vitality, muscles, etc., uh, and then a little extra vitamin C. So those are the basics. Daily foundational protocol plus the daily immunity protocol. That's what I recommend for almost all humans. Now, anti-aging-based products, that's a little bit different. We have a whole longevity-based category at stephencabral.com shop. That'll take you to over to Equal Life. Click on the supplements, click on longevity, and you'll see all the longevity supplements. The two most popular is called the um, Advanced Renewal System, and it's Cell Boost, which helps increase mitochondrial energy, which also helps with balancing healthy levels of inflammation, and ATP, energy for the body, and the Inflamasooth, which helps to balance healthy levels of uh, inflammation as well. So those two work incredibly well together, and the ingredients in them have been shown to decrease biological age. Now, everything else would be custom and specific, whether it's magnesium or the sleep health protocol or the adrenal soothe or the adrenal energy, any of those things is they would run the big five labs. And if they run the big five labs, we can tell them then exactly what it is they need customized for them. All right, so hopefully that's helpful, Mandy. Let's get in one more question today. It's from Erica. Erica says, I have a breast question. I have a doctor's appointment next week, and I know it'll be weeks until you get this, but that's okay. Would love your opinion. We did a lot of hiking in the mountains two weeks ago, and I had a backpack on. After the fifth day, at the end of the day, I noticed one breast on the underside look bruised or the veins were widened and very visible. I've never had this before. The dark blue will be very light in the morning, but after exercising, it's back darker again and only on the underside of the boob. Any idea what is happening? Okay, yes, this could be, again, I can't give you any medical advice, but this could be a very straightforward um, explanation. When you wear a backpack for an extended period of time, it presses on what are the pectoral muscles. But under the pectoral muscles, under the armpit area are the lymph nodes. And there's a lot of blood flow and circulation that moves from the lymph nodes to the breast, that's what removes waste, and the circulation, which brings nutrients and free, um, clean, oxygenated blood to the breast as well. What most likely was happening on your hike is that you were holding your backpack or the straps were tight, cutting off circulation, at least on one side, and that was causing then the veins to become widened, engorged with blood, and also darker, showing potentially not as well oxygenated blood. Now again, that's my simple explanation. Simple is often the answer, but not always. So it is good that you're going to have this looked at with your doctor. But 
for the most part, if it went back to normal after a couple days of not backpacking or you're just doing some normal breast massage to get the circulation going with a little castor oil or you know any type of um, Ayurvedic based oil, anything like that is totally fine. Uh, then it's most likely not something to worry about. And now you know in the future, extended period of time with a backpack uh, could could be potentially be an issue, and you might just have to adjust or use a different backpack or um, have one with the backpack strap goes across the chest and the waist, so it takes some of the pressure off your chest based area, and I think that could be helpful. So, um, you know, the, the hard thing is I never get to, to speak with people again after they write these questions in, but uh, I hope that was helpful, Erica. And obviously, feel free to drop me a line on social media as well if this if this was uh, seemed to be the answer to your question. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you. We have the best community in the world. Uh, I thank you so much, and I'll be back tomorrow on our Mindset and Motivation Monday. Take care. Before you go, I wanted to ask you this question. What if I could teach you in just a couple of hours how to transform your thyroid, hormones, adrenal, cholesterol, blood pressure, blood sugar, weight loss, energy, mood, brain, pregnancy, anti-aging, or many other health-related issues? After 20 years in private practice, after seeing and overseeing a quarter of a million client appointments, I sincerely feel I have the real world data and have found the answer you've been searching for. So what I've done is spent hundreds of hours of my own time refining what you need to know in order to uncover your underlying root cause health issues and then begin to rebalance the body and bring it back to a state of robust health and wellness. I'm going to teach you exactly what I do in my private practice so you can understand how you got here and now what you need to do in order to heal. You'll receive all of the important success checklists, protocols, and even ways to customize it to make the program fit your busy life. And you'll get all of this at a fraction of the price. Let me save you the time, money, energy, stress, and frustration of not knowing what to do next. Instead of reading dozens of books on the topic and seeing multiple practitioners, I will condense everything that you need to know in just a few hours of video tutorials that you can watch and listen to anywhere. Together, we will make this healing process an enjoyable one that you can take with you for the rest of your life. I wish you all of the best of health and happiness, and I hope to be able to guide you on your healing journey through my health results accelerators. Simply choose the health imbalance you're currently suffering from, and by the end of today, you'll know what went wrong and how to get well again. I guarantee it. For details, head over now to stephencabral.com forward slash courses.